Mariners lose six to four in the first game of a three game series against the Astros. They've lost one in a row. They fall to 15 and 17 on the year. I'm a little cranky, folks, but we'll talk about how it happened. In the third inning, Luis Castillo leaves a change up middle middle to the one hitter in baseball that will absolutely destroy. Now, there's a few, but like if you leave that pitch to Jordan Alvarez, you're going to be a not a good time. Homers to center, scores three, three nothing in the fourth. Kyle Tucker, Kyle, Kyle Tucker scores a run uh, on a caught stealing on a first to third thing that the Mariners take the out and give up the run for nothing. In the fifth, Colton Wong doubles with the bases loaded to score Cal Rally, Taylor Trammell, and T. Oscar Hernandez to make it four to three. In the fifth inning, that was in the fifth inning. In the eighth inning, a. Eugenio Suarez swingles to right to score Ty France and move Jared Kelnick to second, but they aren't able to score any more runs. And in the ninth, <sighs> Kyle Tucker homers to score Jose Abreu to make it 6-4. Mariners get nothing in the ninth. Okay, let's start with the positives. I think, uh, I think it's great to see Colton Long swinging the bat a lot better. A lot better. He just has the one hit tonight, but I, he just looks so much more confident at the plate these last few games. Very happy with what I've seen from him as of late. Um, T. Oscar Hernandez gets a couple of hits. We'll talk about one. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, but he does have a couple of hits. Uh, Trevor Gott does a nice job. Gabe Spire gets a strike out of Jordan Alvarez. Filler Saceto does a nice job. Matt Brash should have struck out the side. All right. Luis Castillo. I don't think Castillo was terrible today by any means. Other than that pitch he left to Alvarez, which just can't happen. It cannot happen. And the worst part about that pitch is, is that it should have only been a two-run homer. Or maybe he should have been out of the inning because... You can't have a walk in that situation. The only walk he has there is to a guy that <laughs> you can't do it, man. You cannot have a walk in that situation to add extra oomph for Jordan Alvarez. But that pitch was awful. It was an 89 mile per hour change up down the middle of the plate to Jordan Alvarez. Can't happen. Not from your ace who has pitched like an ace all year, which is why he gets a smidgen of a benefit of a doubt with that pitch a little bit for me. Nobody's perfect. But goodness gracious, what a mistake. What a massive mistake that ends up basically costing you the ball game. It's great to see Julio back in the outfield, but once again, not great. I will say um, two things. One, that ball that he hit to begin the game like, that's out in a lot of parks. And it had, I believe, my buddy Ryan Divish posted, like, an 850 uh, average, uh, uh, the, the expected average on that hit. He crushed it. But this stupid gloom, uh, unfortunately, the ball just didn't carry very well tonight. Jordan's home run, which got over, would have been, like, 450 feet in another stadium. The, the ball just did not carry tonight. I'm watching it literally right now, like to the deepest part of right center. It was absolutely smoked. It's good to see him make contact. One of the things I was a little bit concerned about was he also should have had a hit earlier in the day. Give credit to Mauricio Dubon. He makes a terrific play. With Julio's speed, he should be beating that out. I hope he's okay. I hope they're not rushing him back into the outfield because he's so important for not just this year, but the long term of this franchise. And I know he wants to get back out there, but he just doesn't quite look right to me. But should have had two hits tonight. I mean, he would have hit a home run in lots of parks tonight. I don't care what the what it dong thing says. That ball gets out in a lot of places. A lot of places. Um, before I go on my rant, and it's going to be a rant, folks. Uh, T. Oscar Hernandez, so he does have the two hits, and that's great. 
he tries to extend his single into a double in the bottom of the ninth inning. It's inexcusably stupid to have that happen. What good does it do if he's at second base? All you have done is, yeah, it's great to be in scoring position. But you're down by two. You need both. And of course, J.P. Crawford stings a single the next play. Of course he does. You should have had first and second with nobody out, with Trammell coming to the plate. And then maybe you get a chance for Julio to have some redemption. At the very worst. Then, of course, Trammell hits into a double play, which... Not much you can do about that. It's a nice play by the first baseman, and Crawford hangs on for dear life for as long as he can, but was really stuck between a, a rock and a hard place. I I just cannot stand stupid baseball, folks, and what Teoscar Hernandez did tonight was stupid. Is it the reason they lost the game? No. But is it a major play that really hurt them? Because, look, you got runners on first and second. It changes how you pitch to Trammell. It changes your options. I wouldn't bunt in that situation, but you could at least consider it. It's so selfish to get thrown out there. That's not hustle. You know, you see guys like Luis Robert, who's like battling hamstring death, get yelled at for not hustling to first base on a play. He may or may not have made it. No. No. That's stupid. That's selfish. That's the type of base running you bench people for. Unbelievably stupid. I love T. Oscar Hernandez. I love that trade. I'm excited to see him. He's a hell of a fun baseball player. Swear number nine. Oh, there might be some swears tonight, folks. But it's just inexcusably stupid to not get to have to get thrown out in that situation for the first out. Just dumb, dumb stuff. Where are you going, dude? Just, I, I, I cannot stand stupid stuff. But let me tell you, let's talk about the thing that really has me thrown a wing ding, as my grandma would say. So look, Matt Brash walks a runner on, gets a strikeout. I want to make sure I get the order of everything just right, okay? So excuse me while I pull up ESPN and calm down a little bit. Okay, I don't have the order right. Jose Abreu walks on five pitches. Doesn't look good. Matt Brash faces Kyle Tucker and on a 2-2 pitch throws an absolutely perfect pitch on the outside corner perfect it's a perfect pitch it's an absolutely perfect offering that should have been strike three but Mr. Umpire who I don't know I don't know who is behind the plate tonight and I don't care I don't care because this is a systematic thing. It, it, this person is just, you know, uh, the name for the day. Calls it a ball. And the very next pitch, Tucker Homer's to center field. It wasn't a good pitch on that pitch to uh, Tucker. It wasn't. should be strike three and i'm so freaking done with umpires folks i'm so done with them calling balls and strikes they're incompetent and they have no accountability they suck they suck at their jobs they suck at what they're supposed to be good at and it's it's incompetence with a lack of accountability they can do whatever the hell he wants and it, he was bad all night bad all night this is not just a one-time thing. If it was just a one-time thing, I wouldn't be as upset as I am. 
but it's constant, folks. And it's not just the Seattle Mariners. This is not me just going, uh, pity party for the team I root for doesn't get the right call. No, it's symptomatic all over baseball. These guys suck. It's not okay. It's a huge part of the game. It is a massive part of the game. It is as important of a part of the game other than the players that are playing. And I'm done watching them suck at this. I'm done. I'm freaking done. It is unacceptable. We have something ready to take over for these guys. It's ready to go. And we have to watch this crap over and over and over and over and over. It sucks. It's not good baseball. You want to talk about fixing baseball? Thanks for taking a half an hour away from the game. All it's doing is making it a half an hour less of terrible umpiring. I'm done. I'm done with it. They suck. I used to give them the benefit of the doubt because it's such a hard job. No, I'm done. I'm done being that guy. I'm done playing the, the, the nice guy card with umpires, man. They suck. They all suck with one exception. And I forget that dude's name. And you know what? I apologize. I should have it because he's the rare exception. He should be the leader of the robots. I'm so done with incompetence when incompetence doesn't have to happen. And I'm just telling you right now that if you disagree with me, you're not going to go to jail. I'm not going to call you an idiot. I'm not going to do any of that stuff. I just think less of you. Because your intelligence is clearly in question. I don't think it's subjective to say that robot umpires are necessary for baseball. I don't. I really don't. It just can't happen. And Brash strikes out the next two guys looking and swigging. Should be over. Or we should be playing extra innings. But instead, an extra pitch happens. And you know what? I got to say this. It took a little longer than I would have liked. Good for you, Scott Service, for getting ejected in that situation. Because that's backing up Matt Brash. That's telling Matt Brash that what happened tonight, yeah, you should have made a better 3-2 pitch. Okay. Fair. There's your human element, too. What happened tonight is unacceptable. And that what happened tonight was more the fault of people who are not good at their jobs. Far worse at their jobs than Matt Brash's. I'm done. I am so done with how terrible these guys are. And it's not because, it's more because of the fact that we have something in the line that can replace these guys. I mean, and I'm really trying to not just make it about the, I hope it's clear that it's not just about the Seattle Mariners losing. It's everywhere, folks. It's everywhere. And they can keep getting away with it because there's no accountability. There's nothing, there's nothing that they're willing to do. I, and I'm, I want to make it clear again that I don't think the umpires are the reason the Mariners lost this game. But they kind of are. I, I don't know, man. It's not fun. It's not fun to watch something like that be decided. Like I'm looking here at the strike that was called to Jeremy Pena that borderline hit the dude. That's bad, man. That's bad. We we can do better. We have something better. I'm just going to give a warning in the comment section to uh, turn the microphones down for this one. Or the speakers down. I just can't stand incompetence. I can't. 
Again, if you want to argue about the human element, great. The human element is baseball players. That is your human element. You're going to see guys screw up and step above what they're capable of doing. You're going to see a bunch of that. The human element is not understanding, not what a ball and a strike is. That's not the human element. And if that's the human element, we're screwed. The only reason people don't want this, and I swear to God it's the only reason, you can tell me anything you want, it's because you fear change. And fearing change is what has made this such a crappy, crappy situation that we put ourselves in. Stop it. Stop fearing change. There's a thin line between if it ain't broke, don't fix it, and fearing change. It's broken, folks. It's been broken for a while, and it's going to keep getting worse. I'm sorry for yelling. And I'm sorry if I insulted your intelligence or whatever. I just, I, I, I don't know what else to say. It's got to change. It has got to change. So tomorrow, I will be at the game. Uh, I will do my best not to yell at umpires, although I'll be right above them. Uh, we have Marco Gonzalez against JP France. Uh, there's not going to be a lot of I love Marco Gonzalez. There's not going to be a lot of games where Marco is the clear, more talented pitcher. This might be one. <clears throat> and they made a change. Uh, so now on Sunday, we're going to get uh, Miller against Brown, which maybe that's what we were had it either way. Anyway, I'm, I'm really excited for that matchup. Really excited. A couple of really talented pitchers. It's frustrating to lose, but it's more frustrating to lose when you see something like that happen. Absolutely perfect pitch. The umpire just isn't competent enough to call it a strike. He had a lot of misses tonight. Please hit like. Please hit subscribe. Uh, follow me on Twitter at Crawford underscore MILB to see more of me complaining about this. Patreon.com slash MLB Prospect Guides. Wrote a wire fantasy baseball podcast, which you will not hear me complain about because, you know, it's different. And uh, sports sometimes. Uh, next week, I'm going to have Craig Calcaterra on. Maybe we'll talk about umpires. He seems like a, a reasonable guy. I like Craig a lot. I like Craig a lot. So, yeah, frustrating loss. Really good baseball game up until that end, too. Really good game. And I think they played okay. But all I can think about is that ending, and maybe that's on me, but I hate it. Robot umpires now. <laughs>